Here comes the cool front. Uh, we've already seen some isolated showers, thunder showers firing out there this morning, and we'll likely see a few more into the afternoon. So this will have multiple impacts uh, on the negative side, the stray shower, thunder shower chance out there. But on the positive side, it's going to usher in some drier air, less muggy air, slightly cooler. Air. It's not going to be a huge difference, but you'll notice it, especially by later on this afternoon and even into tomorrow. Off the East Coast, we got Hurricane Chris. We're going to dive into that coming up. Uh, but as far as what's up, it's a little cluster of showers and thunder showers that have fired and started to develop. Not that those were false echoes off to the northwest, but as soon as you drop south here, you can see it. Some lightning going through Stanton and as you uh, get into the northern part of Estill County and also some uh, showers developing on the back end of that behind them. So some additional showers you may hear some rumbles of thunder there and it's getting awfully close to southern Fayette County uh, down towards northern Madison County. And we've also seen a, a couple cruising through well a lone one that went throughout towards Pikeville earlier this morning. So the coverage isn't much, but we're going to have to deal with this this morning into the afternoon. Then we should see it diminish overnight. LAX 18 storm tracker future track shows that boundary slipping south and sparking some additional isolated showers, thunder showers this afternoon. Once we're past that high pressures ridging in and we are in great shape tomorrow into Friday, it'll still be pretty quiet going into the weekend, but into the weekend, we're going to start to ramp that heat and that humidity back up and it's still pretty muggy out there and you won't feel the full effect of that front until it passes through later on today. So we've still got a dew point right at 70, which is some pretty muggy air. And we've also got temperatures well into the 70s, upper 60s, Monticello, 10 degrees warmer in Louisville, uh, that urban heat island effect there. And here's a look at the dew point and how it feels to you. And uh, you can see that we're still in that kind of sticky range, but we're in the low 60s, low to mid 60s for the dew point by later on today and tomorrow. Uh, we're only down to around the upper 50s to low 60s. So that's a pretty pleasant range. I mean, you'll feel the lower humidity. It'll just feel good. And then it starts to rise again, unfortunately, going into the weekend. There's Chris. As soon as this thing nudged off that stationary position that it had and worked its way out over some warmer uh, sea surface temperatures there, essentially hurricane fuel, it blew up. Uh, it went from a tropical storm to a Cat 1 to now a Cat 2 this morning. 105 mile per hour sustained winds. The forward track picking up speed as well. It's now moving northeast at 22 miles per hour. So not a threat in the continental United States continuing that northeastward track, but still pretty impressive storm considering what it was just 24 hours ago. 86 degrees, partly to mostly sunny, a stray shower, thunder shower around the track. I'm doing it this morning. We'll probably have a couple hanging on this afternoon, especially down south. We'll clear out, end up in the 60s tonight. It'll be fairly comfortable. And uh, tomorrow, a beautiful day. Still very warm, mid to upper 80s, pretty close to our average high. And then the heat and humidity both start to creep back up on us this weekend. So we're talking upper 80s, probably some low 90s. The heat blazes this weekend, above average heat. And then next week, uh, Claire was telling me about our Barbasol coverage. Uh, the official running dates Monday through Tuesday into Wednesday, but she said a lot of it didn't get going until later in the week. So hopefully it'll be an early week hit of showers and storms. We'll try to catch a break closer to the middle of the week. She's like our resident Barbasol expert. You know me. Know anything about it, we just ask Claire. She'll be like, oh, here's the deal. I got my here's finger on the pulse of the PGA. And